Oh no, yeah, absolutely. I think Curse Warlock, like, like I said, the decks that got the most support from this are going to be Druid and Warlock. By far the most support from this new Legendary. Mage, Warrior, and, and Shaman all got like a decent amount of support. Control Paladin also did as well because it makes Lady Leodrin uh, even better, or Lady Cariel, sorry. Uh, and then all the aggro tempo decks are basically non-existent now. If I think Blademaster Connie, I could try to stop a spell. I don't really know how good that is. I think I try to find ramp or draw instead of any of these other cards. Nourish is good. Jerry Ray Carpenter is also good. Quest plus curses gives you aggro and endgame for controls. Wait, how does it give you aggro? I mean, I guess you could use the curses super aggressively, maybe. You added a bunch of try quest. Well, you added a bunch of defensive cards. I mean, I'm I'm sure that you uh, that it would be good, or at least good-ish, good adjacent. Um, I don't think we coin out Jerry Rig. I think we just play Jerry Rig when we have the time. I'm also excited for this expansion. It looks a little bit more board based, although I say that I said that last time, and then we got a pretty decent number of like ridiculous combos, but not important. Anyway, it looks a little bit more board based. Um, having 40 HP does deter combos at least a little bit. Combos now need to have a little bit more damage to overcome, so like Mine Rogue consistently doing 32 is not going to be enough. But, I mean, obviously there are a lot of different decks I'm going to try, right, with the new card. But I would also not like to only try out the new Legendary. Like, there's some other things that I would genuinely still like to play. Like, a deck that I really want to play is probably... Um, well, I want to play Shadow Priest again. That was a pretty fun deck, I'm going to be honest. There's an Alex Straza OTK that I think that... I think OTK decks don't really want to include this. Oh, wait! The OTK is going to do less damage because it does 32! No! Oh, I'm so disappointed right now, actually. Oh, no. The OTK I wanted to play is going to be so much weaker. Oh no. Wait. The OT- Oh no. Choose one druid- oh, Choose one druid, of course. I could play choose one druid. I actually think druid by far is the biggest benefactor of this. 100%. Deck tracker update is out. I think I have to just relaunch it then. Not aggro Shadow Priest, by the way. Death Rattle like slower Shadow Priest. Like more mid rangey with, with solid Death Rattle minions. Oh yeah, with 40 HP, this now makes the new Warlock Legendary that makes their stuff cost HP less effective because they have like 10 more HP so they don't have to be as worried. But the deck tracker isn't launching. I feel like you lied to me that it was out, that the update was out. Oh, maybe it is updating and it just wasn't processing. Maybe it's behind and it's just like behind this window or whatever. Anywho, coining out rampant growth hero power. I guess we do have to hero power this. I should have done it earlier. Or alternatively, we use this and rush in and we just try to empty cards in my hand so we can play uh, something else later. It's not bad. We have Kazakasan in hand, so I don't actually feel that worried. It's not Quest Shadow Priest. Why would it be Quest Shadow Priest? I'm sad that Quest Hunter finally became viable again. I mean, it's a diamond. Well, it's going to become not viable because now people have 40 HP. And a lot of the time, Rogue was doing... Or not Rogue. My hunt... Like, with the Quest Hunter, I was doing just enough damage. Like, I was overkilling by maybe four. Holy fuck, I lost. I just lost the game. No, like, I straight up just lost the game right there. The game's over. Holy shit. Um... Gain two more mana crystals. I need to play Raid Boss Anixia immediately. We're gonna lose Kazakasan. We need to then also play Miracle Growth as well. We're doomed. We actually just lost our, our like, only win condition in this deck. Because of Emily. We could maybe discover another one off of an Amalgam. But wow, Warlock is, yeah, Warlock's gonna be the strongest class in the game. Give it two days, Warlock's gonna be the strongest class in the game. There's no question about it. 
They get more HP, which slows down the aggro meta. Warlock has M8, which Golden stops combos. Bear. That and Shaman. I don't think Warrior will actually be the strongest. I think it'll be like third. And maybe Mage with like its scaling hero power could potentially be really bad. But like, yeah, no, Warlock's gonna be an absolute behemoth. Thanks are to the follow, Shufflin. Thank you, thank you, thank you, much appreciated. I would rather draw cards than play Raid Negotiator. Actually, would I rather do this and get a Taunt Minion or this and this to generate as many resources as possible? We got you, which is good. We play this, which we have to do, and slam into that. I mean, yeah, we can't we can't play Kazakusan. Ugh. We could either play this and this or this and nothing. And I think this and nothing is better because the big Taunt Minion is technically better. But more resource generation is good too. We're going to have eight cards in hand. Yeah, it has to be Miracle of Growth or we'll actually overdraw, I think. Miracle of Growth into, like, Aquatic to just put something on top of the deck. No, we won't overdraw ever because we have Aquatic form regardless. No, we're fine. Quest Priest? Quest Priest is fine, don't get me wrong. Like, Quest Priest will be good. But, like, Warlock just emulates a Quest Priest's hand and they lose so many important things, right? Like, it doesn't matter. So the meta is going to slow down, which helps Curse Warlock and Quest Warlock if people start playing that, which people have said is it's better now. Oof. But like Curse Warlock, sorry, Quest Warlock and, um... And Emulate in Warlock, just Annoying Warlock. All are going to be very, very, very hard to deal with all of a sudden. Um, do I want to play Miracle Growth? or generate an extra raid negotiator. I think miracle growth is probably best. I still think so. I mean, it's a 10-10. It's pretty hard to deal with and we, I don't know. I think it's still correct here. Aquatic form. Okay, sure, we'll draw this, and then we'll go Aquatic Form again, but then this time we'll put Miracle Growth on top. Or Scale. Scale's probably better. Actually, no. Once we burn these three cards, we'll just put Miracle Growth in. It's fine. And we can redraw cards. I think this is best. Let me go face with these. Do I want to Hero Power or play this? And I don't have that much time to decide, so I'm just gonna go there because the rope was burning down. If I had more time, like if the rope had just started, I play Amalgam and I think about my choices, but we lost those cards, which is kind of a bummer. You're the best and only Hearthstone YouTuber I watch. Seriously, you have the best videos and I make they pass so quickly. And make they pass, wait, make they pass so quickly. I don't know what that means, I'm sorry. Just tried the game with the 40-40 and couldn't draw anything I needed on Paladin and queued into a 40-40 Celestial Druid. Oh yeah, Celestial Druid's gonna be so annoying. But Warlock also has really good removal and if they can consistently survive one or two more turns against aggro, aggro can never beat Warlock. No, don't say that. Alignment meta is not happening, please, for the love of God. But you know what? If we're trading all the aggro decks and the mine, mine rogue for like celestial druids, I guess that's fine. I mean, it's still very bad in my opinion, but it's it's passable maybe. I don't know. How much does this deck cost? Dustwise? Oh, it's it's an expensive deck, man. It is. Woo, woo. It is expensive. Shut up, man. Just update already. I don't care about that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The Abyssal Curse will go away, so we're not gonna end up overdrawing at the start of next turn. Oh my god! I, 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 my heart skipped a beat for like a second there. I was like, oh my god, what just happened? Um, but we'll go face with these. We're pretty close to winning. He can only give me one more curse, and it's impossible for him to make me overdraw at this point. He could play Gigafin. Gigafin would suck. Gigafin would be the worst case scenario for me. 
But we could play um, Jerry Rig into Amalgam into Spammy. And we get all of our minions back. So we actually don't even lose if he plays Gigafin here. How you doing playing the Legendary? I am, yes. I plan on playing the new Legendary in multiple different decks. Um, but I'm not going to play it in every single deck because I think that some people might not want to see the new Legendary. Although a lot of people do. Um, so I'm going to try to have a little bit of variety. I'm going to have two decks that run the new Legendary. And then I'm going to probably play one deck that doesn't run it. And then if I have time, some time, I might play one more deck. And I'm not sure if I want it to be a deck that runs it or doesn't run it. Also, I have 115 friends online right now. This is the highest number of people being online that I've had in a very long time. This could be like a resurgence of Hearthstone. Having a larger deck with more HP. Like this is more people than when an expansion dropped. But we actually get to deal with this pretty easily. Like I already told you, we have the perfect response to it. We just go Jerry Rig, and then we go um, Spammy. We already, we could have actually played the Amalgam, but at least this way we get to save the Amalgam. Play that. One, two, three, four. We get all of our dudes back. We have Rush to deal with this, I guess. It's actually not that big of a deal. We're in a pretty solid spot. We'll also discover a dragon to get an extra minion out there. You're pretty interesting. You're probably best. And then we run you into here. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards in hand. He can't kill everything with Entitled Customer. The 10 nines still live. And then even if he does, we get to play a big Ivis or something later on. So we're in a pretty good spot. I'm not going to probably play Warlock with a new Legendary today because my most recent video was Curse Warlock. So I've already played Warlock super recently. And I also played Murloc Warlock like two days before that. So I've played multiple Warlock decks, so I'll probably end up playing it like tomorrow, to be quite honest, but that's it. Probably not today. Hearthstone has never been this bad. You're actually losing it if you think it's never been this bad. Unless you're memeing, in which case, that's pretty funny. I mean, this is literally one of the best states Hearthstone's been in in, a, in at least like a year, in my opinion. Give me something good. Uh, definitely don't want it to be Agony. So we'll play this. We just need to hope for something that gives me a uh, damage. We'll go Innervate first. So that way when we draw the other copy, we can at least play it. Um, Deal two damage. That can go face, right? This can go face, I'm pretty sure, right? And then we just kill him. Yeah, all we needed was one more damage with including a hero power. So we're fine. Scales and hero power? Wait, what? Scales can't go face. What do you mean? I didn't have earth and scales. Because I don't know what I want. Um, In terms of, like, my quest priest. Because I know with 40 HP, I want to run quest priest. I really, really do. But I don't know if I want it to be Reno and heal back up to 40 on those few times I get... um. Reno in a 40 card deck, or if I'd rather just make a more consistent deck. Oh, oh, is this guy gonna be Shadow and? Oh, I was gonna say, what if he's Shadow and the Prince? How crazy would that be? I'm genuinely so excited for this new card, man. I'm so happy. I love Highlander decks, they've always been fun to me. Vote for me as Highlander. But a 40 card Highlander deck is so incredibly inconsistent. Like, there's no way, right? But at the same time, I'd be crazy not to. Do you smoke? No, I do not smoke. I don't smoke anything, actually. If you're asking, like, because there are multiple things that you can smoke nowadays, you know, modern technology. You can turn anything into something you can smoke nowadays. Uh, and I, I don't really do anything like that. I don't, I don't smoke meat either, you know? I don't have a smoker for that, uh, mostly because I don't really cook. But no, no type of smoking for me. Zero. Zero smokes. Highlander Priest. 
might be a dream. Highlander Priest with 40 cards. I feel like it could be a dream, but it would also be so incredibly inconsistent. I mean, obviously for the gimmick as a content creator, I'm gonna do it. Also, very nice top deck. Let's gain two mana crystals here. And then that way we can play Guff and ramp up a little bit of extra there. Um, but obviously we're gonna do it. <laughs> I don't like having Kazakasan in my hand. It makes me a little bit worried that he could potentially eat it with Mutanus, but I don't know if he's going Mutanus. I need a weed smoking Hearthstone streamer always baked watching Hearthstone. I mean, I've been told, cause it's not like I've never done it. It's just not something I consistently do. Um, I've been told that when I, when I am high, I'm basically the same, just more. And I already talk way too much for some people, so it would probably be a turnoff for so many. It's gonna be 33% more consistent than normal Highlander decks, but, 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 think about it this way, okay? Hear me out. Reno is gonna be 33% more effective. Yep, that's how math works. I am correct about that. Um, just trying to make sure I was doing my math right there. And I could run a few more like tech cards or draw cards and I don't lose in fatigue as much. Uh, but yeah, it does definitely become a lot less consistent, which is which is actually fairly bad in my opinion. More mana crystals. More mana crystals. I guess I should have technically done this first. That's my bad. Because I would have liked to have drawn my leg. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Why didn't I do that at the beginning of the turn? We'll take Moonlight Guidance and we'll play it next turn. I, I, I was talking and I lost track of what I was doing. That's my bad. Um, okay, so let's think about what I want to do next turn. I want to play Miracle Growth and see what I draw and play around that. I believe. Um, that's only four damage and I have 46 HP. So I don't really feel that worried about this current state of the board. And also, in some decks, like you said, for like Warlock purposes, having 40 more HP theoretically means you could draw five cards with your hero power and lose basically nothing. So... Um, do I want to go Moonlit Guidance first or Miracle Growth? I think I'd rather Miracle Growth and see what I get than Moonlit Guidance. Because this draws me three cards, which is just in general better, I think. Um, we then go boom to draw two cards. No, we drew the second nourish. Oh man, we drew the second nourish. That sucks. Um, let's then uh, gain some armor, play this and play its little taunt minion dude, I guess. It doesn't draw me anything. We're just emptying my hand a little bit here. Actually, we can keep that for rush. We can keep that for rush to try to do an odd amount of damage to that. That that actually might be okay. Deck lists aren't working because a ton of new card or a new card came out and Hearthstone Deck Tracker crashes. And in order to do it manually, now I have to delete even more things. Oh my word! Oh my goodness gracious! That's crazy. He could play it this turn, right? He could just play. But uh, I'd have to delete more things, and it's, I'm too lazy to do that. I will just give you guys the deck code when this becomes a video later tonight, to be honest. Ow. Oh, and he gets it back immediately because it's not honorably killed. That's actually fairly smart. I respect that. If I play scale, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, never mind. We just play you. That basically, it, this is just better scale of Anixia. Cool. Okay. And then we're going to play this dude an odd amount of damage to that. We go bonk. We go bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk. And then we give this rush. And then we do an odd amount of damage to this. So it's honorably killed. Technically, I could have gained a mana crystal first. But who really cares? We'll then stop a spell. Or a minion. I think a spell would be more problematic than a minion, to be honest. Like, Shadow Word Ruin or something could be bad. Oh, wait, I forgot he has the coin. You can't target this. It's immune. You literally can't target it. You have to kill this 2-1 first. Yeah. I forgot he had the coin. Since Hearthstone Deck Tracker isn't working, I forgot he had the coin there. That's my bad. 
This must be the way. I'd like to try to activate Kazakusan as soon as possible. I don't really think I, eating his minions is as important as generating things off of the amalgam. So I think I'm gonna just do this. Do a bunch of damage. I forgot he had the coin. The Parkstone deck checker was working and I could see he had the coin. I think that would have been better ultimately. I mean, you could argue pay more attention, but like it's hard to pay attention and try to be entertaining and read chat all at the same time. Like I just miss some things, which is why I rely on deck tracker as much as I do. We'll take that because it's the cheapest one. We can actually play it and then we'll discover another dragon. And I guess we could ramp up again. We'll take another Kazakasan because why not? They're both ready, so we're fine. One more mana crystal. And then we're probably going to just... Do we play Kazakus on next turn, even though we have 22 cards left in our deck? I mean, we've drawn him. He's good. He's there. He's active. He's good. Yeah, we'll probably end up playing him next turn and drawing some extra cards. I think just getting... Since we have a second Kazakus on, we don't have to play around anything like... um Anything like that. Ah, oh, man. Did I mess up? Okay, I'll read chat after this turn, because I want to actually pay attention make sure I do this right. I, I, I actually want to play Kazakasan, and then trade the- I guess I trade this in first, sadly. It dies, and then I play Kazakasan, and then I draw an extra card. What I could theoretically do is Earth and Scales this, so it doesn't end up dying, and I gain some armor. But I feel like there are other better things to Earth and Scales, especially if I get something good off of Kazakasan. So let's just do that. And then go Kazakasan. We've got another one, so it's fine. We lose 21 cards, but, like, that doesn't really matter. We have Ivis. The book is awesome. book is insane. This is also insane. This is pretty good, especially with an Earthen Scales. Pure Cold, though, direct damage. I think we need more direct damage than anything else. Um, Wax Rager, I think, is pretty good. Or, no, we could copy one of his Death Rattles with that. And then we end up getting, um... Wait, did we get offered two Clockwork Assistance? Could that happen? And then we'll just draw a card, I guess, and we will pass. Uh, we could play you. I did not realize you were going to be so small. I thought I played more spells, but I guess since I've only played a certain number of cards, it's actually not that many. So. I'm it's fine. Not dead. We can win the game if we draw the book. And then, okay, so we have to draw the book now. And if we draw the book, we win. Darn. Actually, I think we win regardless, right? Boom, and then just boom, and then this could go face if needed, but he's just dead, yeah. I mean, we didn't even use the 40 HP this time. We didn't even lose any HP this time, but as you can see, the consistency for this deck is still there. It's actually so good. Okie dokie, we're going to get rid of all of the cards here, even the Prince, because we don't need to play the Prince in order to get the 40 HP. For those of you who don't know, new card just came out, Prince Renathal, uh, deck size and starting HP are now 40. Pretty cool, uh, pretty interesting idea, and I've decided to run a couple of Reno, 40 card Reno decks, and this one isn't Reno. Um, I'm gonna keep spammy Arcanus because I think it might actually be useful against a Rogue. Anyway, um... But yeah, it's an interesting card, and I have a Reno Quest Priest I want to play, because I want to see how Reno works with the uh, 40 HP. And I also want to play decks like Ramp Druid, decks that have historically struggled against aggro. So, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun to try all this stuff out. These are not my correct glasses that block the, the harmful rays of the screen. I wonder if anybody else... Not anybody else. Obviously, other people are running, but I wonder how many other people are running the new card. Obviously, all the content creators are. But how are you doing? How are you doing, everybody? How are you doing? How are you doing? A little bit of a voice crack there. Just a small one, you know? Typical E-Core 100. A little bit of a voice crack. Um, and because there's a new card, the deck tracker will not be responding for the first couple of hours. So let's just bear with it here. We're probably going to coin out Nourish turn 4, if possible. I'm doing pretty well. I had a I had a family thing yesterday, and I had a short stream the day before because I had to drive down to see my family. Um, so there was that. That's why I didn't stream yesterday. Can I make it a little bit better? Eh, it's fine. You guys can see my face. We're all good. We're all good. We're all good. Hit legend today with fell demon hunter. Nice. Well, be ready to not win another game with demon hunter ever again. Oh no! 
not bomb rogue. It's almost like that deck was kind of nerfed recently. Indirectly. Do I coin out Okani to stop the bomb from happening? I could also try to stop like a spell, right? Let's stop a spell. He might think that it's going to be a minion, so he might bait it out and we might be able to hit a spell. He might also think that it's a spell. Gosh darn it. He he called my bluff. I should have had it be a minion. But I wanted to try to stop the uh, the thing that doubles death rattles. I mean, getting rid of a prep isn't the worst thing in the world. And we can still kill off the 1-3, so it's not like it's that bad. And I'm also going to just play the Amalgam for some pressure on the board. We're not going to ever get to the super late stages of the game at this rate. So we got to just play, like, tempo. I don't know, Akane, I probably should have chosen a minion, but if the prep had gone off, he probably would have done something to kill Akane before he plays the mines anyway. Like, I don't really foresee it really changing the outcome of the game that much, although he did call the bluff. I don't know. Maybe I should have done it. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. I mean, I guess he couldn't really kill it, right? The 2-2 two, two would die, and he doesn't want that to happen. I guess he could have a Wicked Stab and or a Tooth, which would have... He would have had to spend two spells to get rid of it. No, I think maybe choosing a minion might have been correct there. A new Legendary, you just get it. You just, you just get the new card nowadays. Um... It insta-dies. I take quite a bit of damage. I didn't choose the correct thing. That makes me a little bit sad. We'll play Nourish. We'll probably end up playing Kolak later. It's fine. Two mana crystals. Hero power to gain a little bit of armor. Hit him in the face. I mean, he needs to trigger at least two more bombs to kill me. One more bomb won't do it. No, sorry. He needs to trigger three more bombs. Two more bombs won't do it. And this is where the 40 HP is really coming in handy. Like, I literally was saying it's going to be absolutely necessary for, like, this matchup. For Mine Rogue. Because I don't want to ever see Mine Rogue again. Words cannot describe, like, how happy I am that this is basically dead now. He also can no longer hit my face. And if he has a Rush Minion to rush in, it's a, it's a Taunt Minion. Um, I'll Innervate out a Hero Power. You might be wondering why, but I just want the armor. I'll probably play Alex Draws on myself next turn. He's gonna have to have like a sketchy and another mine with the one three for him to actually burst me down. Hydrate, my bad. That's pretty much useless for him, right? This is the wrong water bottle. Okay, it's fine. We're not really close to actually killing him ourselves, and Rogue doesn't really have any removal, so let's just heal myself up and hit him. Yeah, I'm at 31 HP, and I got hit with four bombs already. Like, we're just broken. This this 40 HP thing is kind of nuts. 40 card decks is a game changer? I don't think the 40 cards in a deck is necessarily a game changer. I actually think that that's not very good, because it lowers the consistency, right? Like, it now makes drawing guff 1 in 30 cards. I know that's not how stats work. Obviously, as you draw cards, the stats goes down, and it's like 1 in 30 cards, then 1 in 29, 1 in 28, all that jazz. But now, it's 1 in 40 cards. So it just starts at a higher number. So it's harder to get Guff, which is a win condition for Druid. But, like, having the 40 HP means you have a ton of extra time so you don't die to things like Rogue. Also, what in the fu- What?! I'm so confused. So were, were the mines just like a maybe win condition? I guess we play Ivis, right? And we go trade, trade into this and go face for eight. I did not expect that. I thought he was going just pure mine rogue. That's weird. The new legendary you just get when you log in, but it has to update Hearthstone and usually Hearthstone takes a little bit longer to update uh, on mobile. Rush, slam because it's immune. We do lose the 2-5, but no biggie. I guess if we had gone Alex draws a face, we would have won. But I thought he was going OTK bomb, and I wanted to have more HP so I didn't die as easily. But I mean, at the end of the day, this is still fine. And if he plays scabs here, 
I can play Jerry Rig into Spammy Arcanist, maybe? Is Mech Paladin still good? I do think so, yeah. He has to have Snowfall Graveyard. Oh, my bad. He has to have that, which actually gives him a 5-8. But I don't think a 5-8 is enough to save him at this position, right? Like, there's no way, right? He's just dead. Ooh, wait a minute. No, he's still dead, right? We have a 6-5 that hits him in the face. So the 8-8 eight, eight goes into the 5-8. The 13-11 goes into the 5-8, the other one. And then the 6-5 goes face. And he just loses, right? Cool. 40 HP! Broken. Officially. I'm telling you, this one new card slowed down the meta an insane amount. Like, Demon Hunter, Hunter, some of the other aggro decks, tempo decks like Rogue, all absolutely obliterated by this new card. But like, Druid, Mage, Control Paladin specifically, Priest, uh, Shaman, Warlock, and Warrior all got like massively buffed. It's insane. Are we gonna get rid of everything here? I guess Aquatic Form is okay at 5 mana to try to find something. 10 HP can save you a turn or two, and that's a big deal. The extra 10 cards seems like a downside in a lot of decks. I think only Druid and Wild needs the 10 extra cards. I mean, that's very true. I, I genuinely agree. I said that before, that the extra 10 cards is definitely a nerf. In some niche situations, it can give you, like, a little bit more flexibility that you might need. Um... But even so, it still just like slows down the consistency of the deck, which is not something you want to do. How do you feel to get a Minor Rogue counter? I literally played a Minor Rogue as the very first deck that I played with this one, and I won, and I couldn't have been happier. I'm genuinely so happy, I slapped him in the face and said, no more Minor Rogue. Play a better deck, play an interactive deck, play a deck that isn't just kill from hand. Because guess what? Your deck is no longer that viable. Genuinely so psyched. I'm gonna coin out Nourish to gain mana next turn and then try to play like Scale of Anixia. And I think that's basically the play. Locations might be cool, but they seem very weird response to Marvel Snap. Okay, what you guys don't realize is it's not a response to Marvel Snap. Also, did he not attack? I don't think he- no, did he attack? No, he didn't attack the second time, I don't think. Weird. Anyway, it's not a response to Marvel Snap. They come out with these cards and they design cards like multiple expansions in advance. Like this expansion that they're coming out with now, minus some like minor theme based things, it's, it, it was planned way beforehand. Like this might've been planned as far as like a year ago. Um, boom, and then I guess we'll kill off both of these and we'll have two alive, which is pretty cool, I guess. Deck code? Hearthstone deck tracker isn't working right now, so I can't really copy the deck code. I mean, I can, but it, it just takes longer this way. Oh, man. And it's gonna be slightly annoying to deal with, but hopefully Raid Negotiator can do something spicy. I guess we could theoretically go Bran here. And get two. We can save it for later. I kind of need to play it right now. Um, I'll innervate out Boomkin and deal four damage to this and then heal eight. That's actually pretty good. Innervate Boomkin. Boom. I only heal six, but we still get to kill a thing and it's better than playing the Feral Rage because we also get a minion out there. We have to play Moonlight Guidance soon and try to get like Guff or something. And this is, again, the biggest downside of this deck is simply the fact that um, now you have less consistency, so Guff is harder to draw. Infuse mechanic seems to push more of a board-based meta. True, and I'm very happy about it, actually. I really do like my board-based metas. Um, hmm. This is a Moonlight Guidance. If we play Mutanus, we just get another one, right? So let's do that. I mean, we get the other one into our hand, right? So it's not like we even really lose anything here. We eat a Snowfall Guardian, which is pretty huge. And we get another Mutanus, or we can go Brand Mutanus next turn. So, or we can go Anixia, or we can go, um... Local R, although Anixia is just better than Local R in every single situation here, right? 
But like, even so, the 40 card thing isn't necessarily terrible. I mean, it's bad most of the time, but it's not as bad as, as some things, right? Like, it could be worse. We're gonna take a decent amount of damage here, but I don't think I'm ever gonna get burned down. I think I'm just gonna try to eat two more minions. We eat a Brilliant McCall, which is awesome, and we eat another Brilliant McCall. Okay, he basically has no Battle Cries left. And it's a 10-10, which is good, potentially, for Earthen Scales. Am I dead here? There's no way he kills me here, right? I mean, that's unfortunate, for sure. Um, That's the only time that he can activate that. Uh... I mean, we can go double Earthen Scales on the 1010. We could also play Anixia and theoretically kill off at least a couple of things. What shall I do? I can go Earthen Scales, Earthen Scales, Hero Power. And then I still end up taking a bunch of damage is the problem. I can go Earthen Scales, Earthen Scales, Hero Power, and then Blade Master Akani to stop a spell. So he has to hit it in order to try to burn me down. I think that has to be the play. No, wait, we counter both because Bran. Wait, we just get to counter both. Next spell, and then next minion. I guess we could have probably gone with Raid Negotiator because he was still alive, but that's fine. We're at 44 HP. We stop a spell and a minion, so it's going to be hard for him to try to burst me down. Yeah, that gets countered, so that is some damage that I'm mitigating here. He can't freeze me anymore because he got rid of the other Snowfall and both Macaws. I mean, that's annoying, but it doesn't really do anything, right? Oh, I'm dead. Wait, am I dead? I might be fine, actually. Because he's already used multiple uh, direct damage spells. Yeah, he's just done. 40 HP, baby. 40 HP.